Yeah, you already know the drill, man. It's your boy. I'm back with another fragrance video. Man, if it's your first time here, welcome. If it's your second time here or more, hit the like button. Okay, so I tried to make this list a little bit on the more affordable side. So there's only a few niche in here and actually one clone. On the road to crack 1,000 subs, man, I wouldn't be anywhere without all of you guys, man. So salute to y'all for rocking with me. But I don't want to waste y'all time today. You saw the thumbnail. This video is actually going to be on fragrances that I feel, in my humble opinion, that will have you smelling like the best in the room. Just putting it out there, you know, there's not even really a lot of men that even wear a lot of fragrances, right? When it comes to smelling the best in the room, okay? So if you're in a room full of normies, normal people, it's actually going to be a little bit easier for you to stand out anyway just by having on any fragrance. But if you're looking at this list, oh uh, yeah, I'm going to get you right. All right, this list is in no particular order, but I'm kicking it off with one from the House of Givenchy, uh, arguably one of the best out of this line, and this is Reserve Privé, right, from the Gentleman line. This is excellent, man. Um, this is a nutty, powdery, boozy fragrance. Classy, sophisticated, rich, dark, mysterious. This is just a win all the way around. Irish chestnut, whiskey, woodsy notes. Can't go wrong with this one, man. Compliment monster. Can't speak highly about this one um, enough, man. If you haven't smelled this one, man, definitely get your nose on uh, Gibon Cheese Gentleman Reserve Privé. Definitely will have you smelling like one of the best in the room. Rolling right into the next one, man. This was love at first sniff for me, okay? From the house of Mancera, this is Instant Crush. Okay, saffron, mandarin, bergamot, vanilla, musk, sandalwood, okay. This is like a sugary, sweet, vanilla, saffron fragrance. Compliment monster, but this one is very, very dangerous. What I mean by that is that you will choke people out with the right dose of this you're definitely gonna be one of the best smelling people in the room. But if you put on too much of this, you are definitely choking people out. So for me, preferably, I suggest no more than two, max three sprays of this fragrance. It's really that potent. If you are a fan of sweeter fragrances, this is definitely one that needs to be high up on your list to sample. And yes, when I say sample, I mean it with this one because this fragrance to me is not blind buy worthy. But I feel like for the individuals that wind up liking this fragrance, you're gonna love this fragrance. Okay, I'll end it with this. If you like anything remotely close to Baccarat Rouge 540, this is definitely something that you need to get your nose on. It does not smell exactly like it, especially in a dry down, but if you are a fan of a fragrance like Baccarat Rouge 540, oh yeah, this is definitely one that you 100% uh, need to smell, okay? From the House of Mancera, this is Instant Crush, again, a uh, love it for a sniff for me, but I think this one right here will definitely have you smelling like one of the best in the room. I mean, just, just look at the smile on my face before I even get to start talking about this one right here. As long as they keep making this, I'm gonna always have a bottle. This is from the house of Prada and they have to make the list. And this is Luna Rossa Carbon, okay? Bergamot, lavender, and broxen and patchouli. And again, not only is this a stunner, it's a performer. All right, let's just, let's just go here. Look at the bottle, okay? So we saying I might be 350 to 400 fragrances at, at this point in time. This is what's left in the bottle. This might be bottle number three or something like that. That actually says a lot. On top of the fact that this is really a compliment monster. I'm wearing this one this much for a reason, okay? but. Also, too, you know, uh, I do happen to work a lot, so this one is a little bit work safe. So let me put that out there as well. But regardless, <laughs> this is great for any situation, okay? This fragrance right here is definitely going to take you where you want to go. Amazingly balanced, okay, with a nice sweetness and a, and a hint of like a little mineral note. Dressed up, dressed down. I'm sorry, this Luna Rossa Carbon is just a winner. Yeah, I feel so passionate about Prada Luna Rossa Carbon that I feel like 
if I was actually starting a fragrance collection or recommending a fragrance collection, you know, where you would basically start from, from, you know, uh, whether it be, you know, 19 years old to 60 years old, this would actually make the list. Okay, so if you haven't got your nose on this one, this is definitely one that you absolutely need to smell and it's everywhere, okay? Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. So since starting this channel, man, I've actually had a whole revelation, man, on what, you know, the opposite sex, you know, deems as a fragrance that they're really, really attracted to where they wind up actually just liking or gravitating towards, okay? And I'm not gonna lie to you, the super clean and fresh fragrances, I didn't really think that was it. I thought it was not necessarily like the super exotic, but uh, some other fragrances I'll mention in a minute that I really thought would just really captivate the attention of the females on a mass level. It's not really like that, man. Like, to me, in my honest opinion, you know, maybe as some of the females mature a little bit, they kind of get to that space. But to me, what I feel like what's been an overall mass appealing winner has been some of the more clean and fresh fragrances. Fragrances that I actually completely doubted and I actually hated on. I made videos on, like I sampled that I didn't like and then wind up wearing and wind up getting crazy responses from females and they wind up loving it. And that's why this next one was on the list, even though I like this one from the jump. This is from the house of Narciso Rodriguez, and this is Blue Noir Eau de Parfum. Okay, cardamom, mandarin orange, bergamot, suede, iris, tonka beans, sandalwood, and vetiver. We're gonna keep it a dollar, man, and just tell you the truth. Clean, fresh, musky laundry. That's it, but performs. This is the 150 ml bottle, uh, if you can't tell, maybe compared to the size of my hand. <laughs> Just so you know, I'm not playing. But I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, man. I'm gonna leave this one right where it's at because all you really need to know is that this one is a, Again, a clean, musky, laundry fragrance that just works, okay? If you haven't smelled this one, this is definitely one to put in the repertoire, uh, to definitely be a part of the collection when you wanna switch it up, you want something grab and go, but this one also could be dressed up or dressed down, and I personally feel like that this will definitely also have you smelling like one of the best in the room. From the house of Narciso Rodriguez, this is Blue Noir Eau de Parfum. So when I think about fragrances that would immediately be, you know, mass appealing to the opposite sex, this fragrance right here is one of the ones that I was actually thinking about, which, you know, I will label a little bit exotic, okay? It's definitely not like a clean, fresh, laundry type fragrance, but this one is a complete stunner. Love that first sniff, and I believe it definitely gets all the hype that it deserves. And this is from the house of Zerjoff, and this is Naxos, okay? Lavender, bergamot, lemon, Honey, cinnamon, cashmere, jasmine, tobacco leaf, tonka bean, and vanilla, okay? This is a stunner, and this is super, super sexy. This just smells like quality. Opens up citrusy, dries down into a creamy, honey, tobacco, tonka bean, vanilla type fragrance. This is, this is definitely date night. This is definitely formal. This is going to be very hard to deny to say that in a, full, a room full of normies, you're not gonna be one of the best smelling in the room. No question about performance on this one. Definitely take you where you wanna go, you know, over a smooth seven, eight hours that you need in order to get the job done. So if you haven't actually smelled this one, again, I don't know what you're waiting on. This is definitely one that you need to get your nose on if you haven't already. It's from the House of Zerjoff, and this is Naxos. This one has been getting heavy rotation since its release. A huge fan of this line. Uh, I wish I could talk about more from the line a lot more, but a lot of them unfortunately have been discontinued. Uh, FYI, that's probably one of the hardest things about doing this YouTube stuff is, in, in, a, in the fragrance space, is that a lot of your favorite <laughs> colognes wind up getting discontinued, then people can't necessarily find them, and it's hard to actually talk about because you guys can't go out and find them. But anyway, this one right here has been performing, and I feel like this is definitely for a guy who doesn't want to do too much, okay? You want to play it, you know, safe, but you still want to be sexy and have a little bit of a, a little darkness, you know, uh, uh, thrown in with that. I feel like this one right here is going to do it. And it's from the house of Giorgio Armani. And this is Code Parfum, okay? Bergamot leaf, iris, clary sage, aldehyde, orris, tonka bean, and cedar. This is non-offensive and also a stunner. 
great release from this line, okay? And definitely, I'm saying it, this over the EDT. I'm definitely standing on the Parfum over the EDT. You're getting an easy three to four hours as far as projection, easy six to seven hours as far as performance. And let me just let me just throw this out there as well too. Y'all hop in the comment section. Let me know how y'all feel about these because I'm gonna say it again. This is one that I feel like it will be hard to hate on and say that in a room full of normies, you probably would not be one of the best smelling people in the room. Elegant, sophisticated, versatile, okay? This is one that opens up kind of fresh and then dries down to something irisy and ambery and still got a little bit of that original cold DNA in the background. This is one that, you know, again, I had to put on this list, okay? From the house of Giorgio Armani and I'm definitely saying a parfum over the EDT, this is definitely one you should get your nose on. Armani Cold Parfum. I have to admit, I got it wrong with this one initially, okay? From the house of Cartier, okay? This is Pasha de Cartier, okay? This is the Parfum, okay? Sandalwood, balsam fir, benzoin, tonka bean, labdanum, patchouli, okay? This is probably one of the most masculine fragrances on this list spicy smooth fragrance okay this is very very easy to wear okay i did a full video on my initial reaction to this fragrance i i said that i liked it but i felt like i wasn't mature enough for it yet and i think at the time maybe my palette just wasn't there but i'm definitely in this space now this is almost a 10 out of 10 for me, okay? I don't think it's gonna be a 10 out of 10 for everyone, but I feel like for the right person, people are really gonna love this fragrance, all right? It is very sexy, it's slightly boozy, it's a little bit mature, I definitely am still gonna stand on that too, but it's sophisticated, you smell like you just got your stuff together. Kind of complex, sweet, amber, boozy, vanilla fragrance, I mean, I just gotta say it again, man. I really got this wrong the first time I smelled it. Just had to admit, man, with the with the public apology and say that I wasn't ready, you know. It's it's particular notes that brought me here, okay? Huge fan of Tonka Bean, huge fan of patchouli, huge fan of sandalwood, okay? They brought me here, but you know, I just wasn't ready. But I got my wine right and I came on home. Okay, so we here now, and I'm also gonna tell you that this one is actually a performer. You getting an easy eight to 10 hours of this one, okay? As far as performance, this is one right here that again, to me, is undeniable. Probably not for the younger set, you know what I mean? Early 20s, probably not for you, but anything above that, 25, 26, 27 and up, I feel like, in my humble opinion, you will be one of the better smelling people in the room from the house of Cartier. This is Pasha de Cartier Parfum. So is it just me? Or is it some of you men where a lot of your friends, closest five to 10 male friends, don't even really wear fragrances like that. But if they do, it's stuff that you're trying to avoid. Yeah, you might be in this cult that is, <laughs> is Fraycom, and I'm a part of it too. Never talked about the original, because for me, I felt like, and this is no offense to some of my homies, and y'all know what it is, but if they were the original, it was one that I probably wasn't gonna rock because I'm deep off in this cult, just like y'all is watching these videos. But this one right here is an absolute stunner. This is a flanker. I feel like it's better than the first one. And I've never talked about the first one on this channel because I just wasn't gonna buy it. And I, I refrained for a while from buying this one. And I slept on this one as well. And this is a beast. And when I say beast mode, yeah. Two, three sprays max that we talking about from the house of Dior. This is Sauvage Elixir. Okay, nutmeg, cinnamon, cardamom, grapefruit, lavender, vetiver, licorice, sandalwood, amber, and patchouli. Beast mode, okay? One of the most beast mode fragrances on this list, okay? And when I say that, two to three sprays, I mean it because you will choke people out and you'll go nose blind. But with the right dose of this one, again, hop in the comment section. I don't know how you would not be one of the best smelling people in the room with this Sauvage Elixir, okay? It's more mature than a regular Sauvage, all right? But it's spicier and it's just sexier. Okay, question to you all that have actually smelled both. How do you feel about the Elixir? Do you feel like it's better than 
the original okay do you feel like that wearing this fragrance amongst a room full of normal people okay in ordinary situation that you would not be one of the best smelling people in that room if you didn't over spray i'm gonna leave this one right there because the reputation of this fragrance the elixir should proceed itself but this is one if you haven't smelled it i waited a while before i actually smelled it if you haven't smelled it definitely get your nose on it from the house of dior this is sauvage elixir this one has been getting heavy rotation and although i love the flanker which is the eau de parfum i really like the eau de parfum intense a lot more they basically kind of tone down the, the sweetness which is that that apple in this fragrance and heavy rotation for me this one is something special this is from the house of ysl and this is from the y line the eau de parfum intense okay ginger juniper berries sage geranium bergamot lavender vetiver patchouli and cedar aromatic fruity woody fragrance okay modern masculine sophisticated i would say that this is a little bit mass appealing it's got a nice dark edge to it okay almost could be a grab and go it's basically super versatile which i feel like that's most of the Y line i'm not gonna lie uh, i own the edt uh, I, I had a sample of the Eau de Parfum. I never smelled Old Fresh. Uh, but this one has actually been uh, my favorite out of the line. And again, I'm just going to pose the question. If you smelt this one, do you feel like in a room full of normal people that you would probably be one of the best smelling people in the room? All year round fragrance. Definitely mass appealing. And I told you from the beginning as far as these fragrances, what I wanted to try and do was basically create a video where we talked about fragrances that weren't necessarily obscure, okay? If you're talking about a, a random room full of people, okay, where you might be one of the best smelling people in the room, nothing that people have to adjust their palate for, okay? They could basically easily get your sillage walking past and be like, man, like, what is that? You know what I mean? So, in reference to that, you're getting about a good three to four hours as far as projection on this fragrance. Probably about like five to six hours as far as performance, but this one is actually okay to overspray, but honestly, you don't really need to, okay? So if you actually like the original and you're looking for something a little, just a slightly bit mature, okay? And I, I hate to use the word mature, but slightly mature with a little bit of a darker, sexier edge, I definitely feel like you need to get your nose on YSL's Y Eau de Parfum Intense. Winding down this list, man, to the final fragrance, man. Again, in no particular order, but this is probably one of the best fragrances that I've actually smelled in the last 10 years. Best pickups, all of that. And really one that helped to actually change my just my, my paradigm of how I feel like fragrances should actually be smelling to me, okay? This is one of them, man. And y'all see me get on this channel and kind of talk about this fragrance where I thought it was eh, okay, had to pick up, put down, pick up, put down. But this is one that has been performed and garnered me compliments to a degree that I, I never would have even imagined, okay? And this is from the house of Mason Francis Kirk John, and this is Gentle Fluidity Silver, okay? Aromatic spicy fragrance, juniper berries, musk, coriander, woodsy notes, nutmeg, amber, and vanilla. We going back to that fresh, clean thing again that somehow the opposite sex really responds to, okay? This is one of the first ones that kind of turned me. I, I'm not going to front where I was like, yo, like, this actually smells good, but I didn't think it smelled that good to the opposite sex, okay? And just the, the notes in here, there's really nothing in my collection that smells like this. And actually, hop in the comment section, y'all tell me something that smells even similar to this that's actually out there, okay? This one just actually works. Very classy, modern, unoffensive. Smells expensive calm intellectual projection easy three to four hours with this one but i'm gonna tell you right now this one is long lasting on the skin too you're gonna get a good seven to eight hours out of this joint part of the reason i like this fragrance as much as i do and it's not just because it's the first one but it sort of is is that 
this juniper berry in here is the first time I've actually smelt that note, which I'm not gonna lie, is pretty dominant in this fragrance. But it's really what's created the reaction to this fragrance. So part of the reason why I actually got in this game, which is why I actually love this one so much, year-round fragrance. I mean, I don't think it's gonna push too much through the cold air, but office, date night, dressed up, dress down, okay, this is a fragrance right here that you can rock anywhere and you're not gonna offend anybody. Y'all get in the comment section and tell me if you've smelled this and you've actually worn this fragrance, what type of reaction do you get with this uh, Gentle Fluidity Silver? Perfectly unisex and I know that some individuals really hate that actual term, but I need y'all to, you know, come out of the the late 90s, early 2000s, this ain't a, a CK1, okay? <laughs> not even close, okay? This is something that is definitely not off-putting, but again, if you're around females, you're around the opposite sex, I'm interested in what your response is to this fragrance because that's what I'm coming to you with, okay? And honestly, I'm putting my stamp on this. It's one of my favorite fragrances I've actually, uh, Done a lot of videos including this fragrance in it definitely on some 10 for life uh type fragrances so this is to me a masterpiece uh and so in a room full of normal people i feel like this one is 100 gonna stand out and have you smelling like one of the best people in the room from the house of mason francis kirkjohn this is gentle fluidity silver you know I appreciate all of y'all, man. Rock with me to the end of the video. And if you got any benefit from any of this content today, please do consider liking and subscribing. And I will see y'all in the next video.